it may be complete garbage when the game is over and we can say, hey, Damn, that's... they picked this knowing it could be garbage, but it's cool. You know, Chen yeah. and Chantress on it... the same team. Brood. I don't know if I could ever root for a Brood, but this is the one time maybe I'll make an exception. Actually, a little bit surprising. Uh, Chen, in the meantime, 19 and 5. So he's actually doing a better job as he's taken over a couple creeps now to help him. Yeah. The range creeps, especially the piercing damage. Do they even call it piercing damage anymore? Is that just I a hidden so, yeah. mechanic? Yeah. I mean, Chen is expected to out farm here. Oh, they're going to kill the. Oh, if they kill the bear here, that's bad. For yeah, them. the fear goes off. As it looks like first blood's actually going to go the way of Shad. Denied, it. Uh, denied the the panda bear though. Type tiny mask of madness was the build for a while. I, I'm guessing that has changed. Right now, it's just a casual morbid mask into into an AC. Really, first main item. Interesting. Talk about that in just a moment. Is Armas trying to go for this outpost? Oh, nice like Remain in secret's favor. As Shad, yep. Toss or the the swap into a kill. Yeah, Helm of the Dominator. Yeah, See a tower. And there's a tomato. Nothing can beat a, a ripe tomato. That is for damn sure. If we've that is anything. true. You do hate those. Uh, mid lane. Mid lane. See the first doom of the game. The centaur stuff will the miss though. And with that, I believe Brood should be fine extremely fast but he actually has run out of web Zai's going to continue to chase under the tier 2 now the Scorched Earth is dealing a lot of damage but there's the heal from Chen and you're seeing the Diffusal Blade being shown Zai able to get the stomp only onto one hero though he's going to have to tank this tower doesn't look to be in his favor this time around they do get the tier 1 mid though secret but it looks like they're going to have to fall back now so we've been yep. seeing a lot of Deso into AC he's not going for that uh, Celery oh wow that Nature's Prophet ult brought him down extremely low He's baiting a little bit here as Doom's going to get netted up. A TPM from Puppy, though, does have Sprout available. It's going to get Celery inside, and that looks to be his Doom, no pun intended. As Toby, in the meantime, completely surrounded by Secret members. So that's going to be two easy kills for Secret. Oh, the um, Craggy Coat? Yes, Craggy yeah. Coat. Very good, Cinder. Well, Armus was smoked up. They're gonna, Zion Company are going to see him. The rocket player comes out. Nisha with of the avalanche. Armus looks like he'll just be boxed in, though. <laughs> An interesting toss. <laughs> Either way, this will be a kill going the way of Secret again. Like I was saying, we typically see the Mask of Manus into Deso AC, or at least that's been the most popular I've seen. But switching uh, he this probably around. needs it against Incapacitating Bite. That has to be the reason, right? Like, the blind from Brood is really heavy on the bear. Oh, Probably the top way. onto Toby, into the stomp from Zai. And he does have his ult, Toby does. He pops it, but it's not going to matter a whole lot. Yep, so I used Echo only on the creeps. And oh, I think really? he killed the I whole army. Mid lane, That's we're going to see a hook shot. As well as Brood's ult being going, used to go to town onto Nisha, who's just completely stuck in these God, so tanky, though. And it's going to be a tier 1 tower to boot. That's so nicely done from Viking there. Their lineup is Ages, really good for killing imagine. this. Would this be a Brood or a Venge? Aegis. Brood. Brood it is. Uh, so the fact that Viking managed to get this mid tower before he got the axe is is going to pay off big time in his ability to just cut through and start getting access to enemy camps. Yeah, he's he dead. has seen bot lane. The Sprout will slow him a bit, and it's going to be more than enough for Secret to kill him. I'm I guess they want Zai to get the kill. <laughs> that was interesting movement. Nisha? The block oh, that didn't get the toss back. Right clicks from Tiny do hurt a lot as the chance is actually going to buy back into the game. Toby already low on mana as he's going to get stomped. Hear the swap come out into the doom immediately onto Shad. Armus with the hook shot onto Nisha now who's stuck inside the cogs with very little mana, but he's right clicking to a high amount or a high degree, and that's more than enough to actually kill the clockwork. Vengeful Spirit resigned to her death. Looks like she'll get a little bit of damage before dying there, as Nisha looks to be next on the list. So it's a two-for-one in favor of Secret right now in terms of numbers. Boom, staying alive with just a sliver of HP. Looks like Toby is going to be brought down, though, again. So that's a double kill for Zai. A double kill for Celery on the backside. Is they're going to continue now onto both the bear and Zai himself? Matu, looks like the drums are going to be popped by Zai, but that's not enough to save him. Matu attempting to TP out the bear. It's going to be close, but no, the last right click from Boom. That extra bounty going his way. And that was the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. He resummoned now, so he does have a second bear in tow. Yep. Um, but yeah, they finally do get him, and then the fight can start opening up a little bit. Um, I do worry a little bit for Viking that if they go on the tiny like this and Seeker are closer, that it's going to cost too much. 
It, it's kind of like, think of how a lot of the time you don't want to open on a Wraith King, because Puppy's it, just, dead. it takes too long, right? Well, likely dead. He actually pops the mech, will stay alive as a result. Enchantress maybe bit off a little too much here. Yeah, she's going to get Nature's Wrath here. Hand of God. Heals her a decent no, amount. Didn't so bounce. Big vision here. Sprout was canceled. They're going to turn this around now onto oh Zai God. with Shad dealing so much damage. And Boom is here as well. So that's, looks like that's going to be two easy kills going the way of Viking now, as they can easily transition this into a tier two. Smoke by Secret. See if they can find anybody here. Yapsor, of course, has the Blink Dagger. Oh, they're going to Fissure Brood as his Aegis gets expended. They knew that timing. To a T, Cinderin, and they take full advantage of it. Really well played. Very nice. Just as how you do with itemization sometimes, right? Like, talents is another way where you can get a different read on the game state. Oh, be like, God. okay. Nisha gets the double damage, and they know that Roche is up. But this Roche is going very, very fast. And it looks like Clockwork is going to try to slow things oh up. A huge Echo Slam by Yapsar to three heroes. But Roche is taken, and Boom is going to reap the rewards. But Clockwork and Venge die immediately. The Clockwork is going to buy back into the game. But your position one Venge is donezo. Brood destroys that bear. And he is <laughs> in hardcore ridiculous mode with his arms flailing all over the place. And they're in, again, as Celery already at half HP from one swing from Nisha. And the Doom was applied to Brood. Of course, remember, the Aegis is still there, so he doesn't really care too much. Now we're going to apply all his sights onto Nisha, trying to kite a little bit here. Remember, their Venge still cannot buy back in this game. His Clockwork is going to die back now. Good Fissure blocking people off. Zai is tossed in. He's going to apply his sights now onto this Enchantress. Looks like Boom is going to get away safely, but Toby looks to not be in the same category here. So that is going to be four dead if you count the die back on the clockwork, but Aegis is still intact along with the cheese. Nisha and Matu together can make quick work of this barracks. I'm going to glyph. They need their clockwork. Oh, oh good fissure. fissure into the stomp, and that is enough to kill the Venge again and the illusion on top to add insult to injury. And they know she doesn't have buyback because she just didn't use it before. So definitely oh God, not online as Boom this. pops the BKB and his ult, but it's not enough to withstand this right-click damage from Nisha. This is crazy. The minus armor is insane, and that is the Aegis down. The melee racks has already fallen. Nisha, not a whole lot of mana to speak of. See if they can kill Boom a second time. Doesn't look to be the case. And they're going to apply some damage to this tier three here in the bot lane. And they're gonna <laughs> by apply damage, I mean they're going to kill it very easily. All right, Venge is here now. The Stun on top oh, of the barrier. Big stun stun from Zai. Essentially oh a ravage into an Echo Slam. My lord. This wombo combo from Secret will ensure a second Rax at the very least. Boom is forced to pop the cheese as he flails his arm even more. And nobody can deal with Nisha right now. Zai jumps in with his hand. The purple hand of death, if you will. Nobody's giving a high five as they are about to GG out of this game one for Secret. Mm. That was... <laughs> what a sick combo. stomp from Zai. Yeah. Blink three-man war stomp gives ample time for Yapsar to get in position to get a beautiful Echo Slam there, and that's that's one way to win the game. And, <laughs> and that's what we were talking about with Viking, right? Like, this lineup, I actually think they played it pretty damn well. Once again, like, I want to give this team credit every game we see them play against Secret, even though they've lost three in a row now. I mean, I don't know if he agrees. It's very possible that Mata has a different read on this and thinks that some of the heroes I suggested are not good, but I just see such a plethora of amazing choices for his pick. It's so good to be in that spot as a carry. Like, that's, it's funny that's that you're talking about point. with this patch and all. Like, just generally, like if it wasn't first blood, I think I would agree. I would rather have him just go back to base, uh, walk it the old-fashioned way. But yes, you'd have to look at the numbers to know for sure. Uh, Seller in the bot lane, getting pressured by Yapsor. Pops his wand with very little charges, and Yapsor is going to be able to get first blood for himself. So, I mean, it feels like Seller has just been... I don't know what else he can do, but he's just being met constantly on his side of the map by either Yapsor or... Uh, or Zai. It's on a consistent basis. It'd be very annoying. Yep. Well, oh, mid lane. Ember Spirit will take a spill this time around. Matu is level 6.
Uh, I think, based on how his other cores are doing, he might have to do the brunt of the damage, so maybe Radiance is not enough. Like, maybe he has to get heavy single target. He's going on to Zai here, doing some harass, but Zai still got the wave. Warrior's gonna be killed by Yapsor in the meantime. He just not walked Not Puppy. Oh, Kunkka. Oh, they killed Nisha. Three men. Okay. They rotated the Grim, so the question is, are they even strong enough? And if they aren't, then I think you have to wait primarily for levels. Like, Ember needs a couple more levels in Slight and maybe one in Chains. Ideally, Quap would like four in Scream. Oh, Lasso. Oh, That's a the Pounds canceled the TP on Ember Spirit. Oh my goodness. That was like the last half second and Matu just ran into him in the fog. That was very fortunate. And he's going to find a kill onto Seller. This is... Oh, he killed him while the Invis was kicking in, so now he's also invisible. <laughs> out of it. Well, I'm sure they know about this, but Shad is continuing to farm the jungle. And I guess he doesn't know. The silence comes in from Yapsor. Red Rage belt. Crawler Belt. <laughs> <laughs> Just a regular belt. Well, I don't even know what options Life Stealer has in that slot. Not much. It's the least no uh, valuable area, for sure. Yapsor, bottom lane. Looks like he will be found here. And that will be an easy Doing some good kill. Damage, get nice ult. kill. Oh, this could be costly. Nice overdraw. Overgrowth is going to keep him in place on the cliff. Puppy with the coil onto three heroes. Sonic wave to follow, though. Puppy taking the brunt of that damage, but they're going to clean up the Queen of Pain very, very easily. And the Treant as well, so it's a two for two. That's just so much of a gap between the next heroes, right? Those two are hand in hand, but then Kunkka with over a 2k lead over the Quap. And Bat with, uh, well, I guess we're comparing oranges and apples here a bit. Chad, no, the man. silence very nicely timed onto Zai. Can't get the last one off. Finally does, but dies immediately after. See the Grimstroke ult applied to two. They don't really have a follow up, though, as Celery is going to take the ship to the face. Shad continuing to try and get away. His rage comes back up in one second. Nice damage from Kunkka as Boom takes basically half his HP. Sonic Wave is not quite enough to take out Matumbo. He's going to force his ult now. He will just back up and heal passively. What an ultimate that is. Yeah. So my question is, does he continue to go... Like, normally... I say normally, but... If, like, in... Historic sense. It's actually, Toby's infest. Oh! Oh my god! The animation on that is so sick. I need to play this hero, Cinder, and Shad pops the rage. Puppy will be able to get out, though. So they expended quite a bit to try to get that kill. And now Shad going to take the brunt of the damage from the Slarky Malarky. As you see, the armlet is not quite enough to save oh your boy, life this is bad. Now, Toby looks to be next on the list. His blink is not up anytime soon. So three dead in very quick succession here for Secret. Boom, Boom even has to concede the rune. Good call there to not go for that. He would have met his demise there to the Slark. Might Roll still get, in. oh my God, perfect timing. Oh. Wow. He does have yeah, a remnant, pounce. but he's still pounced right now. He's and he's mana. slowed perpetually. 10-0, minute 15. There's not much good to good stuff to write home about. They lost their lanes. They're losing the fights. They're losing map control. Losing on towers, runes, everything. Seeker just completely outclassing them in this game. Zai is uh, trying to be setting no, something he up here, lasso, but, but okay. The overgrowth to follow as Shad will be able to claim himself a kill. Matumbo Man comes in with all that extra jelly. Sonic Wave onto two. Matu still has his ult. As the boat is going to hit on three or four heroes. And the Grimstroke ult to follow. Not sure if they have follow-up on top of that, though. Celery getting extremely low. To that Earth Spirit ult, as you're seeing, again, the Infest do massive damage. It's a two-for-one right now. Is it going to turn their sights onto Nisha? That is the Kunkka dead, so a nice fight for Viking. Is they're going to chase Matu? Is he going to pick up this DD? And I think with that, <laughs> they're going to say, yeah, okay. Can't deal with you. Yeah, nice reaction from Viking. Um... Oh, maybe it's not over yet. Yeah, Matu wants more. Oh, the pounce is just going to miss the blink in time. And with that, Zai, get out. But Matu claims another kill. <laughs> Celery just happens to be Yo, this wrong five place at the wrong the blink time. On Quab. Pounce, pounce. Oh, he hits Gone it. Flesh. The DD on top. Is this enough, though? Toby with the blink will be enough to get out. And this will be a huge kill onto Matu. And that okay. is 600 Whoops. gold in the pocket of Shad. Um, at this... They need any deal they can get, yeah. trying to say. 
So uh, the way this whole thing started top with a, was obviously Batrider. Uh, Zai tried to get a good lasso. Oh, wait, we have another fight. We do uh -oh. have another fight. The tier one tower is about to fall. Both to follow. This might have been a bait from Secret. Earth Spirit's going to die, though, and Puppy to follow. So perhaps they baited themselves a little bit here. A Grimstroke ult onto two again, but there's the lasso. They need this Lifestealer kill. Infest is up into a creep, and he will live, but Boom will not be so lucky. So Secret, after all that, only find one kill. But it does go Matu's way again. 13 permanent agility. But Halbert definitely has bumped up because of this status resistance plus lifesteal uh, multiplier. Right. Where it's just a feel-good item a lot of the time. 15 seconds for bounties. Oh, Celery is dead. Yep. He is so Goodbye. Dead. Grimstroke. It was nice knowing this is going to be the fourth. Oh, wait. Okay, Matu sidesteps the Inkswell. Nicely done. Or to use his Diffusal Blades. So it's going to take a little longer than he would like. But it's still going to be his 14th agility. We need to make sure we kill during these spells. If we don't, we're going to lose the fights. Like, every long fight, I will favor Secret all every day of the week. Like, the way they ramp up with Slark getting stacks, with bat stacks. Uh-oh. Aramis? Yeah. Coil expended, and now he is completely surrounded. Actually uses the overgrowth boat on the way, though. Sonic Wave to follow. They end up do taking out the Earth Spirit, so it's a one for one. As it looks like Secret want to back. Halberd used onto the Earth Spirit, or the Ember Spirit, I should say. It's gonna try to go man mode against Matu. Not sure if that is what you want to do if you're Boom. But Inkswell will help them take out Kunk at the very least. So it's a two for one in favor of Viking. Very good rotation. Next. Which is still a long ways away. He has struggled mightily. Puppy uh, his absolute point. intro. Oh, mid. Puppy, coil. Silence into He's coil, dead. into lasso. And this is why he, he just... He's just taken out repeatedly by my secret. Accelerate, TPing out. No. Flame... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Flame break into the mist pounds. Unfortunate timing there. Not sure who spotted who, but Matu's going to be taking out these waves easily. So, what about Roshan? Feels like 24 and a half minutes in, Nobody's even attempted Roche yet. Neither team really that great against him. As we're going to see a lasso initiation. On to Zai, into the boat, into the coil, into literally everything. They better get this kill. They will. Wow. Line into nothing again. Let's talk about Soulbind in just a minute here. Overgrowth out to four heroes. Here comes Ember Spirit with his Yule Scepter doing very little damage. The Tramp Protector is going to die pretty much immediately. Buyback onto the Zai, onto Zai actually. He will TP in with that Boots of Travel here very shortly. Accelerate looks to be the only casualty after the fact though. And Matu with 18 agility now, permanent agility. Open they have double wounds. Halberd. Double open wounds, double halberd, double, double shadow <laughs> strike. Mmm. Very good. Ember Spirit is likely dead again. Doing a jo good job of layering their stuns and silences, and that is his seventh death of this game. Just a really, really rough game. Oh, Toby's wow. going to be next. They still have so many stuns, so much utility to take out these mobile heroes. I mean, talking about two of the most mobile heroes in the game. We need to play flawless, right? Like, it can maybe be easier to convince yourself that we're going to change up something strategically and catch them by surprise or do something different so that if they play the way they usually do, maybe we can beat them on that, right? Uh, but, right. like, I do agree with you. That is definitely a way to do it. On to Matu, but the coil coming in. The boat finishes off Grimstroke. Buys back into the game immediately. Ember Spirit. There's his Yules. Soulbind onto two. Double silence. Sonic Wave really didn't feel like it did much damage. As Viking now on the retreat next to their tier 3 tower, Aramis looks to be the first to die after the buyback from the Grimstroke. Toby jumps in, still has his blink available. A lot of damage being applied to Matu, but remember, he still has that Aegis intact. Buyback onto the Triant Protector now. As Shad, I mean, he is still mega farmed. He's the most farmed hero in this game. It's pretty much on his shoulders at this point. Inkswell. With the Rage, it will be able to connect onto Nisha, but Shad is in a 1v4 situation, or 1v3 situation, with very little support to speak of. He's gonna have to infest in his teammate Celery. That might break things up. Imagine infesting into Celery. 
<laughs> Matu, level 20, working on a basher. He has the Mindbreaker applied right now in his inventory. Oh, goodness, yeah. As if it wasn't bad enough. Very good item. This guy in Mindbreaker plus basher. Uh, Puppy oh. is dead. Hey, guys, who want to jump? Buyback. Not that any... Sure thing. Oh, did that... Okay. Didn't realize it was a gem. And we see an immediate infest into Quap. We haven't really seen a whole lot of these infest bombs. Uh, we're going to try it here. Buy back onto the puck. Will be used. Puppy will be in there shortly. Sonic Wave onto four heroes. The Soulbind BKB pop by Nisha, though. The boat incoming. Zai is going to be the first death here for Secret. The Quap blinks to safety. Armis has already expended his overgrowth. Boom jumps in again. He just takes damage more than he deals out. Shad flying all he can to Matumba. The Yules to follow. Coil, Puppy showing himself with the illusory orb. Looks like they're gonna use that as a retreat. Like life is still top net worth, but nobody else is having a good game. Literally nobody on Vikings team. Very unfortunate. And if one of their two cores in the Quap or Ember, if they were having a decent game, so we going in. Totally different. Infest bomb onto BKB. Nisha. Gonna pop the BKB, the boat to follow. Now Sonic Wave. Uh, puts Zion on the cliff temporarily as Armis does get the overgrowth off before he inevitably dies. Boom with the BKB showing it off for the first time. That's the 10 second. Kunkka dies, so it's a one for one, and there's the Ember Spirit finally being able to kill somebody. That is Zai. He's actually going to get the slight of fist hero damage now, Talent. Matu forced to pop his ult. Shad trying to chase. Doesn't have the Abyssal Blade, so will be difficult to catch up. That'll break things up as Roshan is not quite up yet. He may respawn in three seconds. Well, probably not, though. Oh, Ember Spirit. Is that a coil onto one hero? It was. So, Secret, without a big teamfight ultimate, might need to back now. I'm gonna get. Infest bomb coming actually. Shad applying all his pressure into Yapsor. The boat comes off, but the overgrowth was there, like you said, locking people down. Earth Spirit buys back into the game as the bash onto Toby. He cannot blink out. He's going to drop the gem, and now the Life Stealer is on the cliff pulling an Arteezy. He cannot get down in any way, shape, or form, and they will find this kill. He is armlet toggling very nicely. He can only do this for so long. Attempting to TP out. Wait a second. He actually gets out. Oh my lord. This Life Stealer. Playing out of his mind right now as Aramis will be the sacrifice. I believe all they lost was two. That was a buyback on They lost three. They lost Coop as well. But Secret this time around managing to keep a couple of key heroes alive, like Batrider not Whoa. dying instantly. Bash onto Matu. He's going to use his ult though. Oh, oh my, my god. god, he's so fast. He does so much damage. Still has his halberd up. Buyback onto the Grimstroke. Sonic Wave onto three. The Bash is there. They're going to kill Matu. And with that, Secret needs to get out. We'll see if Viking can chase anybody down. Ember has no remnants right now. Okay, I was gonna say, even Ember with Flicker, it's not that bad, but... We'll probably end up going on Celery, but we'll see. Is they gonna take out Roshan? Zai jumps in! He got the cheese. Off the Ghost Scepter, yeah, he does get the cheese, but the Aegis is on your Life Stealer, as if they could kill him already. BKB popped a little bit prematurely from Boom. It's now Zai attempting to TP out on the cliff. Will be successful. Oh, now he's changing it again to hit this, but he was he used spider legs for a while there. Might be switching yeah, it back. Yeah, he doesn't have a boot slot because of Aegis. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. He's going to pound into this tower with that level. The fortification is popped, though. The pounce. Not going to be really... Oh, there we go. Start of the fight now. The Yules onto the Batrider. As Rage is popped by Shad again. Lotus applied as well. The boat's coming in. Not going to really connect on anybody. The buff will still be there as Batrider dies instantly. So with that, it's a 4v5. And this tower, at the very least, is dead. We'll see if Viking can get any more. Still has that Aegis. So this is going to be, at the very least, massive damage to this Tier 3 tower. Despite being down 22,000 gold, Viking is making this game look very even. As this Tier 3 will now fall. Getting kited. And there's the Aegis. We'll be back very shortly. Matu, he is hitting so fast. They have to be very careful. He's still in a lot of agility now. The Infest Bomb comes out, dealing a good amount of damage as Puppy dies. We'll buy back into the game. The Bash was there for Shad, looking for Yapsor. We're not able to get another one. Really, really needed that Bash to finish him off. Boom. 
X marks into nothing. It's Wait, not Puppy got back. 25 before Matu? <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't even notice. Puck is 25. Yeah. I didn't he notice. He's highest experience in his point. team. He's been cutting a lot of waves. I guess it got one big solo kill or something. Or maybe they gave him a, a couple books. Shad is a beast. Yes, he does have Divine. So as a result, had to pocket his boots or just sell them entirely, I guess. Yeah. Spider legs. Spider legs will be the choice. We get to 60 minutes. Maybe we'll see the force boots as top lane. They'll find RMS. Obviously not the biggest kill in the world, but kill is a kill, especially when Roshan could spawn. He will in 30 seconds. So if they go for him, then that will force a buyback more than likely on the Triant Protector. Oh, they call an Illu. Oh yeah, a coil on the illusion. Interesting. God, this puck, this puck sounds talent is so good. Oh, is I with the attack? Right oh, he could have got him there. The boom, he's gonna pop the Shivas. There's the abyssal the blade, and the Sonic Wave just decimates Zai. Matu is forced to pop his ult as the buyback onto the tree and protector is now here. Seeing the ghost ship fleet come into effect, they are still surrounding Puppy. They really want this kill. He is so hard to take out, though. And he will, in all likelihood, still live after all of that. Armus Overgrowth is up. So the big ults that are down are Sonic Wave and Boat. Of course, Slark, his ult will be back in five seconds. His puppy's going to blink out the safety. Illusory Orb as well. He's breaking this smoke. He's just been doing this all game. Toby pops out of the Infest, and there is the Abyssal Blade. But so with a Lotus Orb, so he stuns himself. Ghost Ship coming in. Toby's going to blink out the safety. Both not really going to connect to anybody. There's a Grimstroke Gold coming to effect, but Toby will be first to fall for Viking as he buys back instantly. And let's look at this life steal. He's lassoed up, and then... Halberded on top of that, so he can't deal damage. He's gonna he's getting really low. The Infest Bomb is down as well. So that is the Divine Rapier. We'll see who picks that up in just a moment as Aramis attempting to get out of dodge, but no buyback on the Life Stealer. And as well as Viking have played in this game to extend it, this might be the end now. As the Divine is on Nisha, the Kanka. Pretty good hero to get that on. So, gotta give credit to Viking. This, this game is likely ending in this push if Secret try to go for it. They have 60 seconds with three dead heroes. They obviously don't know these heroes don't have buyback. But Viking played super admirably from behind. Still not enough. That they made it exciting for a moment. That puppy, Cinderin, was sick. And the what from puppy? Blading the life steal oh, yeah, yeah. Orb to start that. Yeah. That delayed him by a good three seconds or so. And that could have been the difference. Tough to say as Grimstroke will be taken out very easily as well as these buildings. In fact, they're just going to go for the throne knowing that Life Sealer is down for 22 seconds and does not have buyback. The level arm smart. Intact. He hits yes, that four times true. a second. He is hitting a lot as GG's come out. So Viking is out. They have lost four in a row to Secret, but I feel like every game we've been impressed by something. We keep saying that. Yeah. This game, it started out like, okay, this is actually the biggest stomp so far that we've seen Viking be a part of. But they somehow made it look even when they were 20k behind, and they could have won this game, Cinderin. Yeah. That last fight, nobody had buyback. That was uh, really the end. And with the Divine, you can't be too surprised.